Oh, hey guys. Let me try. Let me see this. Wait, time out. So, uh, how about, um, whoa, it's been a while, right? <laughs> Hi, first of all. Hi, how you doing? How's your mom and them? Uh, I'm okay, I'm alive, as you can see, uh, but I have a little bit of explaining to do. Just a second. All right, so, um, I'm sorry again. I just wanna apologize. I know there's a lot of you guys out there that really look forward to uh, my videos and my gig logs and my updates, uh, and I've been kinda slacking, and I wouldn't say slacking, it's totally raining really hard right now. Um, I wouldn't say slacking. I've just been stupid, like stupid busy. Like way busier than I've ever been. Um, and again, that's no excuse. But like these videos are somewhat of a luxury item. Like I try to make them when I can. And I just haven't had the time or the motivation or someone to kind of help me out with them. Um, so, a big announcement. I want, I, I gotta introduce you guys to somebody. Um, hold on just a sec. All right, so I gotta introduce you guys to somebody. Um, you're gonna see a lot more of them. His name is Trey, but you and everyone else will know him as Trey the Intern. So, hold on. Hey, Trey. I'm Trey the Intern. Trey How the right? Intern is a little out of focus. Oh, oh, oh. It's, it's been so long, I don't even know how to run my camera anymore. Let's let's try this one more time. All right, let's, um, <clears throat> Trey. Hi, Trey. Howdy, boss. Trey is the intern. Um, he's not really an intern. Um, he's, well, I guess he kind of is. He's like a paid employee. Um, and the reason why Trey is is like working for me now, and it's a lot of the same questions that I get asked, like how how do you get started? You know, you guys are great about asking questions on how I got started on this thing um, and what it takes to be successful, uh, which I'm 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 still very small on the totem pole, um, but I get asked these questions all the time. You people uh, email me and call me like figure out my cell phone number which is a little weird um but people ask all the time so how did you get started how do you become sex successful um and it's because of like people like trey um i go to church with trey uh trey 16 still in high school and he came up to me he had the balls to come up to me and say hey i really like what you do uh, I'm not sure what I want to do with my life, but what you do is cool, and I would like to explore that opportunity. Um, so I'm always, always willing to give somebody a chance. Um, now, if you'd screw it up, like being late twice, and he's laughing because he's been late twice. Uh, he was not more than like three or four minutes late, so I let him slide. You were pooping uh, this time. So. I was pooping this time, so I let him slide because I wasn't even at my desk. You know, if he's mad enough to come up and ask somebody about what they do and show interest, I'm always willing to give somebody a shot. Um, so Trey is my intern. He's full. He's gonna be here full time when he can. Um, so he'll be tagging along with me to every gig, um, whether it's a DJ event or production event. Um, this past w uh, weekend we did a wedding together, did video for an a Indian wedding. Um, so he's going to be just tagging along. Anything that I do, he's going to do. So the goal is once Trey reaches an age, probably a year from now or 18, I want to send him out on his own. So I'm going to train him from the ground up while he's still young. Uh, and then once he's ready to go, um, he's got access to everything at the shop. He can take it and go. Um, I think this will work a lot, out a lot better than what I've done in the past, which is hire other DJs. And I still do that. I've got great friends who are awesome DJs, but they're not my DJs. They own other companies. Um, and, you know, they're good enough where they can make a living doing it on their own, where Trey needs a little training and a little, uh, little guidance through this thing we call entertainment. Anyway, enough about that. You guys uh, want to see the office and the shop, and I know it's been like way overdue because the office has kind of been done for a while. The shop is still a work in progress, but it's kind of done too. Um, so, Trey the intern, as well as myself, um, we're going to give you a little bit of a tour. All right, so walking in, um, as you can see, the floors 
turned out really, really nice. This is like a lobby foyer area. Um, I still need to do something on this wall here. I'm thinking a big like crown of graffiti maybe or pictures or something. Um, that's a plant. I don't really know what to do with so it sits there um, because there's a lot of sun. Well not right now but you get it. And then the fish tank. I really like fish and I want to have a fish tank in my office, but I feel like it'd be distracting, so I'll put it in here. But I just haven't, you know, put it in here. You don't see it every day, so I need to do a little bit of wire maintenance. Um, but it's going to be nice. I promise, hopefully, by the next time you see this area, we'll have fish, and it's going to be tidy. Um, so hold me to that. Hold me to that. I also have this giant crater of a pool in my parking lot. There's nothing... There's really nothing you can do whenever, um, I wish you guys could see me. I'm terrible at this. I, I'm sorry. I'll get better, but you know, Trey also has an act for video. So he's going to edit this down and you tell me in the comments what you think. Is it trash or cash? All right. So continuing into what we're calling the conference room area. Um, there's a conference table, one of the chairs is in there, I plan on replacing this desk and doing something cool, um, and these lights, uh, gotta go. I think I'm gonna do LED, but it's a little expensive, um, so that's like last on the totem pole. Then we got pictures up on the, or pictures up on the walls that look pretty dope, uh, from previous events and stuff. Uh, we're gonna put some up lights in this truss, got a TV where we can project Apple TV and all that stuff, so it's gonna be really nice. I've actually had a couple meetings um, in here already, and everybody has said it's really, really nice. So, I think it is too. It turned out really well. Uh, Staying the concrete would have been cool, but it also would have been really time consuming and really expensive. So. I'm kind of glad I went this way. Now, it wasn't cheap either, and after it's all said and done, I'm probably gonna give you like a price breakdown of what everything costs to renovate this space. You saw it when it was garbage, and now it's pretty damn nice. So, um, after it's all said and done, I'm gonna do a cost breakdown just so you can see. We have a sink, all that stuff. I got some dishes in there. I uh, got, hey, got some adult stuff in there for when uh, business hours are over. And uh, also, like, microwave, mini fridge, uh, got some storage and stuff. Um, this is where the business takes place. Um, but yeah, it's done, looks pretty nice. And then, what I'm absolutely most excited about is the office. Let's take a look. All right, so, stepping in, we gotta rip the Arkansas Razorbacks. Uh, Trey's about to get fired if he doesn't get out of my chair. Learning early, learning early. Um, and then we got guitar set up, look at this. Um, a lot of you guys have never even seen this. Uh, I wanted a turntable set up in the office just for practice time. This right here is what made me want to be a DJ. I've since gotten away from it, so hopefully, um, turntables, stuff like that, can get me back into loving the art of mixing music. With uh, storage and book records and stuff. Um, also a TV where I watch my own YouTube videos. Shameless plug. And then we got storage. Hey, take a look at my beautiful wife and me. I've kind of gained some weight. My cheeks aren't that skinny anymore, but that's okay. Um, and then the desk, uh, which is completely trashed right now. It was really nice, and then um, work happened. So it's not as nice anymore. It's not generally this dirty. It kind of is always this dirty, but hey, if you have a messy desk, that just means you're getting stuff accomplished. Then we got uh, pictures of me and my sister and my mama up there. I mean, the list goes on and on, but um, overall, um, I think it looks nice. If there's a client meeting, I like tidy all this stuff up. Um, because I don't like having meetings in here, but if the client comes in, they're like, hey, and I, I just say, have a seat. So uh, anyway, Trey, what do you think? I think it looks great, and it's going to get better. He's only saying that uh, because I'm paying him. Take a look at this hat. Tell me that that hat doesn't look dope. I got it from a company online. It's like a trucker hat with a leather patch on it. Um, I've really been thinking about uh, making another order um, to sell. So if you're interested in a leather crown entertainment hat, 
let me know. The cost, it's not terribly expensive, um, but it's not terribly cheap. Then I'd have to ship it to you. So the hat cost would be around 35 bucks. Um, so if you're really interested, um, let me know in the comments or shoot me an email. Email right here. Okay, what you guys have all been waiting for is a shop tour. Okay, let's go. I'm sorry. I've kept it away from you for so long. But it's, again, it's a little bit of a mess. But we're in the warehouse and let's just go um, department by department. We're going to start off with speakers and then we're going to move on from there. JBL. STX 828s. I've got four more of these guys coming. That's for large sound applications. Uh, Yorkville TX9 Dual 18s. Um, I use these if I'm not if I'm only using two uh, Yorkville cabinet or two VRX cabinets per side. These have pole cups on them. Uh, put them on the pole mounts. They work out great. Um, good for little outdoor events, things of that nature where you need a little bit more than a standard speaker on a stick. I take these guys. Uh, DJ subs, EKX 18s. Um, you guys know all about that. Dolly cart, a uh, year, two years later, still holding up really well on it. Uh, another uh, ELX, something like that. Single 18. Um, I use this for, you know, if somebody needs a sub or somebody needs a borrow sub, most commonly uh, for a drum sub on, uh, on live sound applications. I just got this dude in. It's a little Yorkville uh, powered system. It all kind of fits on itself. Um, I'm going to use this for rentals uh, primarily. If somebody needs to rent a sound system, uh, I'm going to send them out with this guy. Uh, let's go back over here. So we have Amp Rack 1, Amp Rack 2, which is um, I use Electro Voice CP4000S amps. We've got eight of them in there. Uh, so we got a Sure wireless rack, which I'm, you can see I'm kind of working on. Another amp rack uh, full of amps. Uh, in these boxes here, we have two cabinets of JBL VRX 932LA line array. They're not real line arrays, guys. They look like it to the consumer, kind of. Uh, but these are constant curvature arrays. They're great, but it's not as versatile as a true line array system. Um, they're great boxes though, I'll give you that. So there's there's five cases here. I've got 10 boxes all together and got another two coming. Um, so I have a total of 12, uh, 12 JBL VRX uh, cabinets. Monitors, DJ speakers, whatever you call them. Um, down the bottom, we've got EKX 15s. We've got EKX 12s. Uh, we've got ZLX 15s and then I've got another pair of ZLX 15s on rental right now, so a total of eight uh, monitors or DJ speakers, whatever, what have you. Stepping over here, we kind of get into a little bit of lighting, uh, genie lifts, a bunch of utility stuff, hazers, DJ controllers, guitar boats, uh, lighting kits, um, utility is really what I put there, tripods. Trey, you getting all this? Mm -hmm. All right, uh, moving along. Wireless LED PARs, you guys use them as uplights. I use them as uplights, PARs. Uh, you know, they've got a bunch of different um, uh, uses around here. Um, so that's that. Chave Legend 575 um, moving head fixtures. Great, professional grade fixture. The only problem is they're getting a little old. Uh, they're heavy. They still work fantastic. Used to be an industry standard even as close as, you know, five or six years ago. Um, and a lot of people would still kill to have these lights. They're great. Um, I would even say they outperform some of the cheaper uh, like 7R Sharpie clones that we have. Um, but they're heavy and uh, mostly nowadays we use these as a moving wash. Let's see here. So more cases for the, the moving heads. We've got LED battens. Battens, you may ask, what are battens? Um, really, you guys might call them like LED bars. Um, but these are battens, RGB, AW, UV, uh, pixel mappable, really, really sweet fixtures. Legend Wash 412s, moving washes. Um, they're pretty dope. Uh, RGBW maybe. Um, really great versatile fixture. In here, Leco's uh, Source 4s, uh, 755, 75s with a bunch of lens tubes and stuff. Uh, in that case, we've got some uh, strobes, 3000 watt strobes, 
old ass spotlight. Um, yeah, take a look at the truss. Boom. Right now we're just doing a little uh, doing a little previs for a show we got coming up. If you notice, we got cheese burrows on all our fixtures. Trey, look at me. No zip ties. No zip ties. We've got a couple of uh, 7R beams, um, LED washes, a couple of battens up top. Um, yeah, so we're just getting ready for a show, previs and stuff, um, and just trying to get a little bit better feel for uh, our new lighting software, which is uh, M-Series, MPC, recently acquired by Alation. Um, DMX splitter, uh, looking behind here. X32, another, uh, or uh, behind there we've got LED monitors uh, that we use for um, trade shows, weddings, whatever. Um, truss, you guys know about truss. This Yorkville rig here, um, it's actually for sale. Um, great system. The Unity uh, stuff, it's, it's professional grade. It's a great, you know, mid mid-size uh, sound system. I'll put all the specs down in the description. Um, it's for sale. It's a buddy of mine's. Um, what I'm doing is just testing it for him, going through it, making sure everything's fine. He's uh, He does a lot of public address stuff, so they haven't even been pushed hard. Um, so if you're interested, I'll have the specs down in the description, and uh, you can shoot me an email, and we can work something out. Bunch of utility stuff. Work box. This case here is strictly for uh, mic stands. Um, Let's see here, 10, you know, 10 5 cable and Socapex cable. We've got feeder cable. Uh, we've got AC cable, XLR cable, snakes, and uh, NL4. You know, really just a, a, a lot of a lot of everything. Um, as you can see, we got our Martin stuff set up. The good thing about this space is uh, I have the ability to do that. Set it up in the air, play with it, leave it up. This has been up for a couple days. Um, in my old area, I didn't even have the room to set it up, much less leave it. So um, this place has been fantastic for growth, um, for, for stuff like this where it's kind of hard to program lights on a visualizer. Actually putting them up and seeing what your end result is going to look like um, is great. On the floor, radiance hazer, whatever. Um, also, got a set of dual uh, 18 MRX JBL subs for sale. Um, I think 750 is what I'm going to try to get out of them. They're on wheels, uh, great subs. We just don't use them hardly anymore. In this room here is what we're going to try to keep climate controlled stuff in. I've got a bass rig. I've got backline drums. I've got my DJ controllers. Right now I'm holding a set of uh, ETX 35Ps for a customer. Um, and I also have a lovely air mattress. I don't take naps, but the other day our air conditioner went out at our house and we needed a place to sleep that wasn't 135 degrees Kelvin. It was so hot in our house. Um, so what's nice is I said, okay, let's just go the office. The good thing is now that we got Trey the intern in here, um, what I'm going to do is probably here in the coming weeks, I'm going to let's go through section by section, pull everything out, um, and just show it to you. I know you guys are all like gear uh, fiends. You want to see what everybody's got, um, and that's cool. I'm the same way. Um, maybe once a week I'll have a new segment. I'll just show you nothing but my subwoofers or nothing but my amp racks or nothing but my sound system, nothing but my lights, so on and so forth until we really just cover everything. I can put that in a playlist and then... Um, then you guys can watch that instead of asking me questions, which I love, by the way. I'm not trying to be a jerk, um, but, you know, I got businesses to run just like you guys probably got businesses to run. Um, and this stuff takes up time. So um, I love the questions. Try to limit them to email, though, because when you guys call me out of the blue, it's a little creepy. Shout out to Chick-fil-A. They got the best cookies on the planet. But let me put this down. What's exciting? What's going to be happening? Trey, the intern, is also a YouTube fiend. He's got a channel. I'm going to link it down below. Um, he really wanted me to get back into uh, shooting videos. And in the three, four days he's been out with me, he's like said, hey, where's your camera? Where's your camera? So moving forward, I want to start recording more. Now I actually have somebody who can record um, and edit and post. For now, at least, 
we're gonna have more videos. Um, we're gonna have more gig logs. So we're gonna have more shop time. Um, you're gonna kind of see Trey grow and mature as an entertainer. Uh, Trey, what's your social medias? Link in the description yeah, yeah, or on the screen somewhere. Um, so be following Trey. I think I'm gonna make him a new um, a new Instagram that is uh, specifically Trey the Intern. So you should be able uh, to click that and he'll just be posting random clips and stuff from the office, from the shop. If you're not following me on Snapchat or Instagram, um, I'll put those right here. Uh, here, you know, a couple days after this is posted, we'll do a QA, and a we'll compile that, ask questions about the shop, about the business, about Trey the Intern, um, about everything. Um, and that might be our next video if we don't do a gig log before then. For those of you who have stuck around, you know, from watching, you know, way, way, way back in the day when I was promoting or promoting seismic audio speakers and have seen me grow and mature as not only a DJ entertainer, but also a businessman, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, I will say that right now it's an exciting time. We got a new spot. Uh, we got an intern. We got you know employees. We're doing a lot more gigs. Uh, I'm being double, triple booked. You know as a multi ops and another guy's out. It's an exciting time. It's a busy time. Thank you guys for for just sticking around. To those of you who this may be your first first video, um, be on the look. At, it's gonna be fun. Thanks for thanks for sticking around. What I will ask you to do is click the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. If you are already subscribed, or if you just click that subscribe button, be sure to turn on um, the notifications. As DJ Bar would say, ring that bell. Um, I'm not gonna steal that from him. Bar's a good friend of mine. Great DJ, follow him too. Um, he does a lot of gig logs. If you like gig logs, that's the guy. But anyway, um, if you're already subscribed or just subscribed, turn on post notifications. Um, that way you can see every time I post. Again, follow me on social media. The best way to get in touch with me is via email. Don't call me. It's a little weird. Um, but yeah, until next time, thanks for watching. Um, you guys know me as DJ Woo Pig. Um, Trey, what do you know me as? Boss. Later.